Shorter 1-1 dash. Reduce strange on Hanabi's attacks. Hey guys, what's up? So we have a new update on Advanced Server featuring Fanny, 1-1, and Hanabi. First on our list is the nerf on 1-1. Valiper said she still has excessive agility, so this time they will reduce her jump distance in the hopes of nerfing her chase and kite abilities. Check out this quick comparison between the official and Advanced Server. After a few basic attacks, the advanced server version covered less ground. The official server has reached the first tower, meanwhile the advanced server needs one more basic attack. So that means it will be hard to reach the backside of the enemy if you're trying to unlock her ultimate. But one thing to think about is her damage output. Now that her dash speed is shorter, does it mean the animation between basic attacks is shorter? And will it give 1-1 users better control in terms of positioning? I think we need a more detailed test to confirm this theory. Moving on, we have Fanny with a buff. Yes, you heard that right. Her skill 1 will have an additional 8% attack scaling. And her ultimate will cost less energy from 30 down to 20. However, the base damage of her ultimate is lowered in the late game. I think that's a pretty strong buff knowing that Fanny is stronger in the early game. Next on our list is the nerf on Hanabi. Based on player feedback, the developers have cancelled the previous damage nerf, but they will apply the following changes. Skill 1 will get more shield based on the damage dealt to heroes, from 20 to 30%. Another change is the shortened range of your bouncing basic attacks. How short? Here's an example. As you can see, her basic attacks can no longer reach this layer. Meanwhile, on official server, she has no problem reaching the third Leila. The developer's reason behind these changes is to reduce her leaning suppression in the early game. On the other hand, the buff on her first skill is designed to improve her fighting ability in the late game. So shorter bouncing range while better shield on late game. What can our Hanabi players say about this update? Next is the buff on Argus. The developer said the recent War Axe and Brute Force Breastplate buff made the EXP laner stronger except Argus. But since Argus doesn't use those items, they'll now have to buff him. They made some adjustments to his base stats to improve his early game damage. But his late game will remain the same. And they also enabled his second skill to apply curse effect on jungler creeps. I think it's a way to make him clear the crab near the experience lane much faster. So far, it's a good buff. But for me, it's still not enough. Next is the nerf on Alice. The developer said she's too good as a jungler in mid to high ranks, so they'll have to make some adjustments. Skill 2 will now have a weaker HP base damage, that's minus 1% on all levels. And they also placed a limit on the skill's damage against jungle creeps. Previously, it was all HP based, but now there's a cap. Another jungling nerf is on her ultimate, where hitting a creep will no longer reduce the cooldown of her first and second skill. And they weaken the heal on her ultimate when hitting a non-hero unit. So much for Alice Jungler. Next is the buff on Edit. Just like Argus, Edit doesn't use War Axe and Brute Force Breastplate. So to make her viable, they'll increase her passive skill damage. From a fixed 4% max HP to now 3 to 6% that skills with level. 6% is pretty good since she can spam her skills consecutively. Next is the nerf on Tank Arlon. They're adjusting his second skill heal by making it skill with attack stats. On official server, you can increase his heal by having more HP stats. But on advanced server, you'll need attack items if you want to have higher heal. So if you've been using Arlot with a tank build, enjoy it while it lasts. Maybe you can start adding two or more attack items to your build. Next is the nerf on Nolan. His ultimate will no longer have purify effect. On official server, his ultimate is usable when you're under a crowd control effect. But on advanced server, it's now blocked. The developer's reason is that he should focus more on choosing the right time to enter the fight. But in return, his ultimate will now have a higher base damage and attack scaling. 
I think this one is just fair, considering his insane mobility and burst potential. Next is the buff on Yin. Just like last week, the developers aim to make him better even if his ultimate is on cooldown. His first skill will have a shorter cooldown in the late game. And his second skill now has a longer range. Next are the changes on the revamped Aurora. They weakened the damage on her ultimate and also shortened its freeze duration. But in return, magic power will now give more freeze time every 100 points. So if by any chance, you happen to stumble on a very long match and you manage to come up with this build, this is how long her freeze will become. That's 3.5 seconds of AOE CC effect. But that's not really possible. Right? Right? 